This is box number 19, and I believe there are only two more after this. This one feels semi-heavy, so I'm guessing that there are some books in here, but possibly some other things. I'm kind of hoping that bookends are in here, because that would really help me straighten up where all of this has been going. And by the way, I have a rule that I don't open another box until I've put away everything from the previous box. So it, it has actually all been been going, you know, been, been set up as I go. All right. Well, photo album, and that's my mother's writing right there. So it says Tom's album. Oh yeah, this goes all the way back to, to elementary school. So pictures of my teachers. Wow. So this is where the sound cut out in the original, so I'm going to continue uh, post facto. This is a photo album of pictures that I took when I was in elementary school uh, and a little bit later. And there I am. I would assume that I'm about eight or so, seven. And when I look at that, I, I see somebody... I suppose my teachers thought I was thoughtful, but I definitely see it, an anxious person. Um, that's actually one of the better picture, me jumping up like that. Uh, me being an idiot or something like oh me in action it says um, I got into photography and these were all taken with if you're a camera nerd with uh, 126 film although actually they're black and white so it might have been no it was probably a 126 cartridge camera which were very popular in the 70s because this would have been again 1975 76 or so and you know I think these were these were good pictures they showed composition and interest and you know, I, I always did have a pretty good eye, and I was doing experiments, like what we see here is uh, I had these sheets of aluminum I got from the hardware store, and I shined colored lights on them just to get the get the effect. We went to a, a baseball game, and there was uh, some pictures there. And then probably when I was 10 or 11, I started doing, uh, like, darkroom stuff. Uh, this was just with photographic paper. Okay, moving on. Uh, these are some newspapers, again, from when marijuana had been legalized in California, which happened in 1996. In an earlier video, I said 1986 by accident. But anyway, uh, I did kind of get into uh, into looking around the industry after I got my card or around when I got my card in 2007, I think, 2006, because I, I, I realized that it was historic, and um, I still have all those those newspapers and magazines. Uh, and in fact, you might have seen something about Oaksterdam, and I picked this up during the age of Oaksterdam, which was uh, Oakland, California, trying to start a, a marijuana district in downtown. Uh, and I, I visited a few shops, and it was fun. This is from when I was visiting the Netherlands in 2012, and... Um, I should start wearing that again. Uh, a cute little uh, silly uh, anime thing, again, from early 2000s. Finally, some uh, bookends. Very handy. Uh, more Dutch stuff. Oh, this was the nameplate hanging up on my cubicle at Mac Week magazine when I was an editor there in 1995-96. Uh, now we go into some furry art. Uh, these were things that were actually hanging around my house in Oberlin, Ohio. Uh, Kevin and Kel is a wonderful series, and this portrait in the style of Sgt. Pepper is signed by its creator, Bill Holbrook. The next thing, I won't go through the whole series, but it's a wonderful series of photos that a furry who used to go by the name of Gawain, I think, and now goes by Blackberry Dragon, uh, he did this, I think, when he was in art school, of the two of, of them, himself and his persona, his his image, or, or his familiar, I would say, searching for each other through this wall of consciousness and then finally breaking through, and you get this sort of pieta image. Uh, this photo that's coming up is one I'm very proud of. Uh, I took in 1995. I was visiting a friend in Chicago, and her cat was there, and... I, I ran back. I, I think maybe my camera was there. I grabbed it. This is from uh, March on Washington for Lesbian Gay Rights, 1987. I saw these women in a tree in DuPont Circle, I think. Uh, DuPont Circle. And, uh, yeah, love that picture. That's the San Diego chicken, or I think he's known as the San Diego famous chicken, who, if you've ever watched any San Diego ball games you've seen, I met him. Uh, very nice guy. These are my um, certificates showing that I could uh, 
smoke marijuana. They're sort of quasi-medical certificates. I did go to a doctor. Very cute thing. That was hanging on my liquor cabinet. Um, yeah. Man, I went through this stuff a lot faster than I thought. It's hard to keep up. More furry art, I believe. Let's see. Yep, pencil drawing. Cute little thing. Another cute little thing. These are all just picked up at furry conventions through the years, probably early 2000s, uh, either from the artists or more often at the at the art show. They do an art auction. Um, you know, it's, it's done like a gallery show, and you put up your your name and number, or your number, I should say, and, and what you want to pay. That last one, by the way, was uh, uh, from a series of uh, animals dressed as sushi. That was uh, Beware of Dog in Hungarian. I, that was hanging on my front door in San Francisco for some years. Another cute thing hanging in my laundry room. I think this might be Carolyn Cougar. I can't quite read the signature. Uh, Brian Reynolds' partner. This was hanging in my bedroom. I just thought it was such a has such a nice energy, so just so so pleasant and free. Very simple, but it just works. Uh, let's see. I like this because it's probably like a two dollar sketch, just a little pencil sketch, but you know, framed and matted. It it it's cute. You know, it it really does liven up the room. Uh, my my brother and myself, I'm on the left there. Probably I was 11, he was 14 or thereabout. Um, some coasters, little things from the Stonewall Inn in New York City. Uh, an old ruler from the Christopher Dairy Farm in San Francisco, back when there were dairy farms in San Francisco. Um, let's see. And I think it might have been by Christopher. Well, well never mind. Uh, more cute stuff. This is a printing plate for some music. I don't remember where I picked it up. I just thought it was interesting. Someone framed it, not me. More cute stuff. Those little things above the cat's head that uh, it's dreaming of are actually little charms, so they're three-dimensional. And then finally, a little book of musical terms, a dictionary. That's it.